Okay, here's the Northwest plan in a majorly tight nutshell. Here we are in now week number two. I just finished week number one. And I started here in Eugene. I was hoping to get a little bit north of Eugene. These are my initial plannings. I ended up all southeast of Eugene and in Eugene, so down in this area around number two. The plan is to pull moisture from the Pacific and send it down the West Coast forests. I started on the east side of Eugene because the fires are really, really intense right in here. And we have the 430,000 acre fire here in California. So I'm trying to affect all of that. There's more fires down here by Bakersfield towards LA. And once we get these moisture flows moving, then we should be able to send moisture over to the Southwest Projects area, those conduits. So this is the Pacific Ocean. This is where I am. The area that I'm working in, more great graphics from me here. Now these are my real sites, Eugene and site one and site two, southeast of Eugene. This is Salem, this is Portland. So essentially the entire corridor here, until you get to the dry lands, now we're focused in this little area, is contiguous forest. It's not in the greatest shape all the time. It's been exceptionally droughted. It's been in horribly uh, cut and, and turned into timber. I think all of it is regrowth at this point but it is contiguous. So the, the ability of the system to share moisture here is kind of unlimited according to how hydrated it is. And um, I didn't fully understand that when I started. I wanted it to be that way, but you know, you don't know until you get there and you start trying. This is a bigger picture of the plan. Um, this is the first model I made a few weeks ago, back at the end of July. I knew I would go to Eugene for at least two weeks. It's gonna be more like four. So again, the idea here is to send moisture all the way down the corridors, as you've seen, across San Francisco down to LA and behind the California desert to the Grant Tree near Fresno and over again to LA and then back over this way to Fetus, Kingston, eventually El Paso, Austin, Oklahoma City, so on and so forth around the Horn. And let me just show you one more big picture graphic here. This is more of my incredible visual talent. But here we are again. This is Eugene, Springfield area. All these fires concentrated here. It's now up to over 60,000 acres that have burned. But we doused all but 5,000 of these acres on Saturday. And then again, this green, this very informal uh, graph here is just showing you the basic forest structure. I aim to go to the top of the system, probably next, but maybe over here into Idaho. These fires are now the next most concentrated. We'll see. I'm going to work just on this corridor idea. And so the Eugene Springfield area waterings should take out these fires, should get into California, should help with all the vegetation uh, fires north of Eugene, uh, we have since learned, and should send moisture down the forests of the West Coast over to the forests of Mexico on their inter internal West Coast, as well as along the mountains of Texas, at the Rio Grande, and eventually back up to Austin, Oklahoma City, back around. The same moisture circulation system should also send rain over to our Southwest Projects conduit that we just hydrated. We've got fires off of the conduit happening. We wanna to try to get the whole region circulating moisture by the end of this month. All of these areas, all of these areas within the next two weeks. And that is the goal. After that, I have to travel for a week and then I come back and I work on the rest and we'll see what I can do from there. The Northwest Projects Plan, if it works, should send moisture downwind, meaning with the prevailing winds. This is the same basic idea as the Southwest Projects. We work with the prevailing wind structure in the biophysical world that we all inhabit to move moisture across landscapes so that it prevents fire, eliminates drought, and eliminates future fire. The goals for the Northwest Project, not a single fire in Southwest Oregon after the 1st of September for the rest of this year, not a single fire in any of the Northwest United States forests by the end of September in about six weeks, and then that will be the end of the project. And then no new fires in the Southwest projects after the 1st of October. And lastly, continued improvements in both areas. 
We want to see the entire system come back online as a lush moisture circulating system. It's not going to happen in one year, but we can stimulate the process for it to happen through the fall. I'm pretty sure.